right, so we're over halfway on day three, four, four, so, yeah, so third, four. Uh, fourth track tonight, yeah, um, so still in second place right now, we left the track uh, and drove, I planned to drive two hours, and ended up taking like six hours to get to the first checkpoint, um, diagnosing some transmission issues, which the trans was running hot, still running, like driving good, but running pretty hot. Um, piecing everything together, I thought it slipped, uh, I thought it spun last night, but it actually slipped in first gear looking at the log. So that uh, causes some problems. Also figured out, it was probably because it was not filled all the way with fluid. So uh, I checked it a couple times before we left, so either um, I misread the dipstick somehow or we lost a little fluid, although no leaks, nothing under the car, so who knows, it is what it is at this point. Um, but talking to Jeremiah at Mitchell Transmissions, who uh, fixes all my broken transmission parts, keeps me going. He says, uh, if it slips again in first, just knock it into high gear and uh, send it. So we'll fix it later. Uh, so that's the plan. We're cruising. We move the trans uh, cooler around. It's really not getting a lot of fluid through the cooler because of whatever issues that's going on. But it drives and we're making it. We have hundred miles to go or less and everything is good so uh, currently in second place by uh, one and a half tenths I think so we uh, just need to make a couple decent passes one tonight maybe one and done it and then Tulsa see uh, see what's gonna hold on this transmission Chris has to go around the water box because he has street tires on with all-wheel drive so he can't do a burnout afterwards. hauling some tail today um, everyone's kind of gathering here they have food coming coffee water 
uh, a little recap from last night. We actually, the night before, um, trans kind of slipped in first gear, and then it was, we were having some issues with the trans temps um, on the road. Uh, it was a little low on fluid, so got that taken care of. And then last night we played it safe, launched in first, immediately shifted to second because it was holding power there, and then just let it go in second. But turned down the boost a little bit, turned in a 599. Uh, waited for third place to turn in his. He did a 574. So it's his 574, my 599. The average, um, we're still in second place by just a hair, so it's gonna come down to today in Tulsa, the last day, which is kinda cool. Um, so plan is to do first pass, very similar, just to play it safe, so probably a 590. And then after that, gonna try first gear, and then third pass, no matter what, it's getting a lot of boost, whether it's all in high gear or it's first and, and second. So we will see. not exactly what we wanted but it's got third place really awesome trophy um, the timing system at Tulsa here just did not like my car for some reason so you'll see in the video just like red light red light red light my car doesn't move um, trans was hurt we intended to do three passes do one where we shift from first to high gear really quick and then second one try to run out first because it was slipping in first and then uh, third one was gonna turn it up, but instead I had to put it on the trans brake probably a dozen times or more. Even foot braked it once. Um, it is barely operable now, but, uh, uh, and unfortunately never got a slip that was accurate. So um, as an example, one of them was eight, six at 128. That would normally be like a, 
5.556, which would have been 20 for second place. So, um, obviously disappointed, tired, but um, still had a good week. Uh, car does load its, will load itself on the trailer, drive on the trailer, and did get a really cool uh, trophy as a remembrance put on the garage shelf. And of course, scheming for next year already too. So um, next time my wife needs to come. So ready done. The boys twice, my dad, um, my wife, Brianne, who puts all these edits together. So you guys are saying the editing is good. Um, put some comments in there for her. Keep, keep, keep doing that because she puts in a ton of work, stays up late and tries to make my mess of videos be cohesive and, and uh, try to tell a story. So sometimes she doesn't have as much to work with, but thanks everyone and uh, we'll check in the next year.